give a damn about it. Don't care. It's like, hey, just tell me some stuff that I can flip, make killer money, don't have to work that hard. That's all I care about. I don't care about intellectual property. I have to be a better creator, and that's where I've been falling short because I've gone to a higher level of thought, a higher level of activity, a higher level of creativity. And I totally, totally get it that many people do not want to ever get on that ship. Nope. I have a confession. I lied to you. <clears throat> Let's talk about the fibbing. This is what's going down. You know, I was getting ready to make a really, really big mistake. Very, very big mistake. And I see the error of my ways. I was getting ready to discuss intellectual property all week to a large body of people who really don't care about intellectual property. Not in their wheelhouse. And I was thinking about that because I had a lot of conversations this week about business life with friends and associates and I just started to think about this it's like okay for someone that has never ever had any intellectual property don't know the four types of intellectual property really won't care it's just like it makes no sense to them because that's just something that other people do it's not a real thing in their minds um, not something that they can make happen because it's it's almost like a fantasy you know and I think if I hadn't had the experience of that I would probably think it's a fantasy as well I would be thinking it was a pipe dream or something that's kind of crazy or really not the thing to do so as I am seeing the error of my ways I decided to do something different and then it's going to make sense so for those of you who care about intellectual property there's a few things that I'm going to do there's a few changes a few few big changes, really big changes that I'm going to do because it doesn't, it doesn't really make any sense to talk about books, um, creating courses, intellectual property. It doesn't make any sense to talk to people about that who are not vested in the power and the awe and, I mean, just the perpetual profits and reoccurring revenue. They ain't interested in that stuff because I'm, I had to go back to my reseller days. I had to really, really think about that. As a reseller, you are living in somewhat of a fantasy world when you have a good deal. Because you know you, you're chasing that high. You want it to happen again because that first big deal, you buy something for $10 or maybe 100 and you make a few thousand and you are hooked you are hooked it's like crack and I was like okay you gotta remember that's what you're dealing with they don't want to let that high go so I'm trying to be your new pusher man that's right I'm trying to be your new pusher man I am trying to give you a better drug with no side effects no reason you, you will get hooked because I'm hooked I must admit I'm totally totally hooked on this stuff but it's just cleaner if you can pull it off. And the, the if part is very big. You know, if you can pull it off. That's gonna be a very big part of it. And, <laughs> okay, I don't know what hell just like went down on me. But for those of you who care, there's gonna be a few things that I'm gonna do at the end of this video because I had to gather my thoughts. You know, this just kinda, came to me off the top of my head but I'm going to create a different situation for those of you who care about writing books for those of you who care about uh, creating intellectual property creating ebooks creating audiobooks creating courses 
but more importantly, how to get traffic because this is one of the reasons that I think that I've had some success is I know how to get traffic. Some things work really well, some things don't. I've been doing this since 2010 and I've just really, really enhanced it and I've decided to create a separate world, um, to create this separate portal. And I will go into details, put everything there, and I'm gonna rearrange some stuff because as I was talking to my brain trust and I came up with uh, some very different uh, concepts, processes, it hit me how I need to essentially not slow my roll, but actually make it better to create a better workflow to create oh that's the that's the new stadium oh this is gonna be a nightmare I knew it was like in the like okay if y'all know anything about I'm in Cobb County right now if y'all know anything about Cobb County understand that the traffic that's going to happen in this area is going to be stupid I used to live over here I'm like whoa this is where it is very interesting but hey you know like that dog like squirrel that's what <laughs> got stuck on that 